Hi, my name is Rob Furman, principal at South Park Elementary Center. Today we're going to be talking about projects for your school reading fair. The school reading fair is one of those experiences that are wonderful for our children. It gives them an opportunity to have access to so many books. It gives them an, op an opportunity to, to, to use their own sense of choice. We've also used our book fair for other means of dealing with math, making that students have to pay for their own books, understanding the difference of the change. We've also given them social opportunities to talk about these books with their other students. Some wonderful projects that we've done in order to gather, generate more interest in our school book fairs. We've had a lot of challenges, minute challenges, where students can win something based on how, much, how many minutes they read. And then we won't give the winners until actually at the night of our book fair. Our book fair runs all week, but then we always have one parent night where the entire community uh, seems to come out for it. Um, we always have other challenges too. For example, one we did was called Ugly Man Contest, where me and a few of my other male uh, counterparts here at the school let the students vote on who was the quote-unquote ugliest man. Uh, we took that money towards buying more books for our school and we didn't say who the winner was until the night of our book fair uh, brought everybody in because they obviously wanted to see who, uh, who was the ugliest man and then we crowned that person as well. Um, another wonderful way of doing that, we've also done that with other things too, uh, mud over the head and things like that. Uh, different experiences, kissing a pig and they get to choose who based on, on, on their voting with change. Um, but also it's important that we get other groups involved too and that seemed to be a real benefit to us when, de when dealing with our reading fair. Uh, our technology department has a, for example, during our fall fair, they have a pumpkin patch uh, picking in our gymnasium when our fair is in the cafeteria. So we open up that door and have a big, big wide space where two separate organizations are having uh, fundraisers at the same time and, and the reading fair, but yet they're cross advertising for each other and inevitably they both have done so much better because they've turned this into one big, big fun, fun evening. Um, the reading fair becomes a really nice community event when you get all of these different groups involved and try to get as many students as you can there. Not only does it benefit the reading culture, but it makes for a wonderful community evening. Thank you.